guys, welcome back. My name is Allie, if you're new here. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, I have a haul for you. This is, well, let me get my thumbnail. All right, you guys, so let me show you what I've got that I don't really want to take to the room to show you guys. So I picked these up because I constantly, not constantly, but I do like to take my dad dinner sometimes. And I don't really want to have to be going back and forth to remember my dishes. So I picked up this four pack of these little reusable trays for like whenever I have leftovers and I'm warming them up for him. I can just take this over there. Then I don't have to worry about going back, picking it up or washing it, whatever the case is. And he can just throw it away. Um, I picked up some grapes. Walmart was all out of berries. I really needed berries, but I found grapes. So I did that. I found these bottles of wine. So I use this bottle looks humongous the one i get from costco is probably about like this big probably comes up to like right there maybe like the lid is right here but walmart had these on sale okay but walmart had these wines on sale for four dollars their normal price at walmart is ten dollars whenever i buy this one at costco it's usually about nine dollars so four dollars was a steal for these i just took the little sell sticker off because I'm going to keep them right there till we finish what we have in the fridge. And I thought it would be more aesthetically pleasing if there wasn't a big yellow sticker on the front. So, yeah. And then I got this parsley. Or how do I always grab the wrong freaking one? This is supposed to be cilantro. And then freaking jalapeno. Some bean sprouts. Some rice noodles. If you can't tell, I bought some stuff to make pho. Got coconut aminos because we've been running out of those. Some hoisin sauce for the pho. But then I found this instant pho. So I picked that up. And then kimchi ramen. And that's all like the grocery stuff that I don't want to take to my room. So I have a Walmart haul for you. This is beauty. This is lifestyle. This is so your butt don't stink. All kinds of stuff. So the first bag we're going to go into is this one. This is my fave. This is clothes. I don't know why this has this on here. I guess this was the return. And eh, whatever. I'm going to wash that before I wear it now. So, oh my gosh. Hold on, y'all. We're having difficulties. So, I have come to love the No Boundaries line for undergarments at Walmart. Their underwear are amazing. And, y'all, they're as low as, like, $2 a pair, depending on which ones you get. The max you'll pay for a pair of underwears from the No Boundaries line is $4. But the quality is so good. And if you're someone like me where you kind of like to stick your fupa in your underwear a little bit, perfect. Because it will suck it in for you. So, I have been loving bras like this though. So these are like just cami style bras. Now I have a lot of the tank style, but I also like to wear a lot of like spaghetti strap shirts. So I needed some, okay, so yeah. So I just needed some that have like the spaghetti straps and then it also, you can also hook it to do like a racer back. So yeah, I got black, nude, and white, the basics. And those were six bucks each. So, if you need a good comfy bra but that's still supportive, I highly recommend this brand. These are the cami style from, um, I keep sliding this the wrong way every time. The cami style from the No Boundaries line. And they're super comfy. Like I said, I have a few styles like this already. And I kind of got into this because the more research I did on bras, it's just super difficult to find your correct bra size and like structured bras because the way nobody can size you perfectly to be honest and what about when you blow and then it's uncomfortable and then it causes indigestion and just too many problems with structured bras so i like that if i do blow your girl got some stretch to her so yeah absolutely love these highly recommend them six dollars each super comfy can't go wrong okay and then the next thing i got was i was looking at these because these were on sale or at least i thought they were they should have been I don't know maybe they weren't but I thought these were on sale for nine bucks and it's just these really cute like rompers I got one for me and one for my sister because I was originally going to get it for me but then I realized that it was for nursing so I got one for me anyways and got one for my, sis got one for my sister because she's pregnant but I wanted it because it looked super comfy and I'm really fighting the urge to change into it right now next let's just finish up with the clothes I went to the men's section and I got some flannels and these are the last two flannels I'll buy because they're all very different so I have a red and black one and then I have like a blue and white one 
And now I have black and white, which is one that I've wanted forever. They're only $9.98 in the men's section. And I believe they're like $15 or $20 in the women's section. So Karina put me on. So I went to the men's section and got me a black and white one. And then I really, really like this next one, which I didn't think I would like it, but I really, really do. And it is this cream colored one, but it's like brown and blue. And I was like, that's different. I don't think I'll see a lot of people with the color like this. And then I also figured this would be really cute with like my all, like unbutton with like a nude shirt underneath or a white tank with my, uh, they're like an army green colored Timberlands. I thought that'd be really cute. Okay, so I'm picking up this next thing. And y'all, we needed this because we needed this. So I got a new iron. But let me show you why. Look at this. We have been pushing this <laughs> to the limit. Y'all, you can see in the iron. <laughs> this black, like y'all. It's time to say goodbye to this iron. This was the first iron Brian and I ever got, and we didn't even buy it. It was given to us for free. And it's good to be able to go out and buy something that kind of just always seemed like an unnecessary expense if this one was still working, because it does still work. It does. But, I, you know, sparks have flown out of this before, and all kinds of stuff has happened while I was ironing so it was just it was time before I died so yeah picked up a new iron Brian's gonna be so excited about that kind of I don't know I have a weird attachment to things that Brian and I get that that Brian and I have of things like that we got whenever we were first married like it hurts to let it go because I'm just like we've had it since the beginning but what am I gonna do shadow box this iron like no so let's get into some hygiene stuff some hygiene stuff I told Brian I was going to Walmart for household stuff I lied so it was hygiene mostly and then I browsed around okay so the first thing I got was my favorite witch hazel this is the witch hazel toner. I like to get the one with rose because it's for it's for hydrating. It won't dry out your skin. But I ran out of this. But I had one that I had gotten in a boxy charm from pharmacy. But this, like nothing keeps my face clear like this keeps it clear. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna just pick this up. I will give that other toner to somebody else see if they like it. But I just had to go back to this. It's super affordable. It's like six bucks. But this is my favorite toner that I buy over and over again. This is my third bottle of this. And look at how much this. Like, look, look how much comes in here. And I've gone through, like, this is my third bottle. It's great. I love it. <clears throat> and also, like, if your kids get, like, little bumps and bruises, like, let's say you don't want to send, like, let's say your kid hits their head. And then they got to go to school the next day and you don't want your, their teacher to make them think, like, to think that you beat your child. This kind of prevents bruising as well. <sighs> I learned that when I used to get beat in my last relationship. And then... Okay, so I bought the Lubiderm, the one for normal to dry skin from Costco because it was like a three pack. But when I was at Walmart today, I was like, okay, we're about to finish up one of them. So I need to buy a backup even though we still have a whole one under the... Y'all know how I am with running out of stuff. So I bought a backup because we're about to run out of a bottle. So, but I wanted to try the Intensely Hydrates Extra Dry Skin because Brian has really bad eczema. Mine's starting to act up. I only bathe the boys a few, a couple to a few times a week because they have such bad eczema. So if you have little kids and you know that they don't get like too dirty and they have really bad eczema, try bathing them less and it'll kind of help that eczema calm down a lot. But I did want to go ahead and try this just because like most things for eczema like are super like steroids for the skin and sometimes I just like to try, I don't know, to provide my skin with more moisture and especially Brian's back. So yeah, I wanted to try the Intensely Hydrates or the Advanced Therapy Lotion. And then I picked up this little jug of hand soap. So this is a Mrs. Myers Clean Day hand soap. This is the refill and this is just the rainwater one. It smelled really good in the store, but again, we're down to our last backup bottle of hand soap. And so I did go ahead and buy one to back that up with. We are about to finish one of our body washes that is and we have two under the sink guys but you know how i am with running out of product so because we're about to finish the one in the shower i bought it back up and i just really wanted to try the native one this wasn't as expensive as i thought it would be and i honestly native like 
why is your deodorant like 11 bucks? Your toothpaste is 10 bucks, but your body wash is cheaper? I feel like this should be the most expensive thing. And like the deodorant should be like 7 bucks. And the toothpaste should be like seven bucks. I don't know. I don't make the prices. I'm just a consumer. Who cares what I have to say? But yeah, I just wanted to try this one. This one smelled the best. And the other two were just like way too manly. So I did go ahead and pick up these two. And then, all right, last down to the last bag, which is all of the fun stuff. Kind of, let me pull out the boring stuff first. Okay, so I did go ahead and buy some Dove Sensitive Skin. This is what I cleaned my little hoo-ha with. Um, I was using, I used to use the Summer's Eve, but then, you know, research and stuff like that. It's like how they formulate Summer's Eve to, it balances your pH, but it balances your pH in a way to where if you stop using it, like, like you have to continue to use it. Like you can never stop using it. So I winged myself off of that. And just picked up this unscented, unscented sensitive soap, and that is what I use to clean down there. And your girl ain't got no odor issues, so that's a plus. I mean, not that I had a problem with odor. I'm just saying you don't need Summer's Eve is what I'm trying to say. And this is way cheaper. You get like four bars for the price of one bottle of Summer's Eve. Okay, so the next thing I picked up were these Alba, Alba Botanica Acne Dot acne pimple patches so they're called acne dope i picked up these because they're more natural so you get 40 in here you get 20 large ones <gasps> and 20 do you want to try one of these and 20 small ones so these are pimple pouches i really liked the mighty patch ones but again like i said these are plant-based and cruelty free so i was like let me try these ones instead so super excited to try those out when i take off my makeup tonight brian gonna see me looking like the ferocious beast off of maggie and the ferocious beast because i'm gonna have dots all over my face okay and then the next thing i got the boys are running out <laughs> i feel like i keep saying running out of like nobody's ever actually out of anything i just like to buy stuff at this point but they're running out of their bedtime lotion <laughs> running out they're not out they're it's like halfway but that's running out to me so they're running out of their bedtime load or their bath time lotion so, because they bathe at nighttime and my kids be walling out when they're in their bed, I thought I'd try the Dr. Teal's body lotion, the sleep lotion. Because I did put a few drops of lavender oil in their lotion last night. They crashed out. Like, I kid you not, King probably paid, played for like two minutes. We got onto him once and then they were like out. And then they woke up like so well rested and just like, they, nobody was crying this morning just because they had to live like... It was a good morning this morning. I didn't have to get on to anybody this morning, and it was great. But And they ate all their... Y'all, today was a good morning. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, that went all around the world, but I picked up a lotion for them to help them try to sleep. Okay, so the next thing I picked up were these mitts. So Brian has a black one, and I'm always using it on the DL. I really like it. But these are the these exfoliating bath mitts. I really like these. I feel like it's really helped keep my skin kind of smooth and soft. And when them heels a little crusty, I just scrub a little extra hard. And it really works. So I got him a black one and I got me a white one. I kind of want to stop using loofahs. And these are basically just towels. So got those. They're also cheaper than the loofah too. And then another random is a wine opener. Brian's Hulk self broke our last wine opener. Like just detached the whole thing from itself. Like I don't even know how he did that, but... That man's always breaking something. But we, I got another mine opener. This one looks heavy duty. So hopefully it's Brian heavy duty proof. Okay, so I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now. I'm running out of the next two things I'm about to talk about. So I really love the Heritage line by Mindy McKnight. I love it for my curls. I feel like my curls look so healthy whenever I use her products. There's another shampoo and another curling. I think I talked about the gel that I just discovered. So I didn't pick up my, the, her, the curl cream from Heritage. But I did want to try their Argon Oil Elixir. Because I have just a pure Argon Oil right now. And it can be a little heavy. But the thing about Heritage is that it's sulfate free, phthalate free, paraben free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, vegan. So it's a lot healthier than the OGX line. And so I did want to try it this one. And it also looks a lot liquidier. So maybe it won't be super heavy on my hair. And then my favorite, 
favorite detangler leave-in conditioner is the heritage by mindy mcknight light as a feather leave-in conditioner same same claims and everything but it is also a detangler this is my overall favorite i keep going back to this one and walmart here where i live is always sold out of it but i literally have to go to a very far walmart and pick that up and the rest of the stuff you guys is makeup makeup so I finally picked up this NYX Professional Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder. I cannot tell you how long I've been trying to buy this on Ulta and they've always been out of my shade. And the good thing I went in the store and picked it up because I was going to get golden online and your girl would have looked like I needed to be in Willy Wonka. I'm going to just leave it there if I had bought golden. So I got the shade light and I have it. I used it today. My skin is looking pretty good today. I used the majority of these products today. I also use um, this mint, mint Melt Cooling Facial Primer. Now I did pick this up because the day that I did my affordable fall makeup tutorial, I was like, dang, like I have little to no affordable drugstore primers. And so I was like, let me just buy this one, try it out. Everybody raves about it. I'm hoping it doesn't break me out like the e.l.f. Jelly Pop primer does, but we'll see. It's the same consistency and stuff like that, but I'm really hoping that it doesn't. Then I picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. The two people that I watched the most consistently, Jessica Braun and Lil, and Le I was going to say Liliana, and Leela here on YouTube, they always rave about this. And I was like, but then I had seen somebody else say, like, it's dry. I don't know. Everything works different for everybody. But I finally decided to try it out because, so, like, they rave about this concealer all the time. So, like, you know what? Let me go ahead and pick it up. I got this one in the shade Light Medium. And I'll tell you this. This might be a concealer that doesn't even need to be set. And I'm so excited about that because I like kind of just like spot concealing sometime and like putting on some blush and just heading out the door with some brow gel in my brows and just yeah it's amazing and then i picked up this wet n wild cloud pout mousse marshmallow lip mousse in the shade love you s'more so i picked this up for one reason and one reason only fall but imagine how pretty this lip color is going to look with this flannel that's cute huh with the brown look now hear me out the makeup look that i plan on doing brow wing liner cute lashes flawless base this lip this shirt that's cute i already know i'm gonna be cute you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing on that day and then the lashes i picked up were these i really don't i really need to stop buying lashes i did that thing where i was like hey i'm running out of lashes and now i have so many because i don't like to run out of stuff so with that being said i picked up these in, these salon perfect extension secret lashes in 661 let me tell y'all quit sleeping on so i have them on today quit sleeping on salon perfect lashes because they're real cute it just sucks because you can only get them online on their website or walmart and then you guys remember when i was saying makeup that's discontinued that i love but i wish that was still continued well apparently i'm a liar and this product is still around it's not discontinued but it is the wet and wild brulee eyeshadow i found it so i went ahead and picked it up and i thought that like for whenever brian and i travel i do them okay so i figured but i also picked up this milani eyeshadow duo you know juicy jasmine raving about these things this is five bucks so i picked it up because i figured like if we ever travel act like we're such a jet setters lies when we do travel we drive so anyway but i figured these would be really like just like this little set right here super simple to take doesn't take up a lot of room so i picked those up and then i picked up this woma um by sharon c foundation juicy jazz again raves about it i got the shade honey honey t2 and it ended up being the perfect shade for me. And I really liked how, I liked the coverage. I liked the finish. I liked the formula. We'll see how it wears. But that is everything I picked up from Walmart today, you guys. And now I see why my total was what it was. I'm out of line. But yeah, you guys, that is it for today's video. I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!